304R Cherokee here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. The R stands for Rolling Island. Roll that beautiful bean footage. 7,500, 70 pounds, so potentially half ton towable with two big living room slides. This is very much like a fifth wheel living room in a, uh, uh, a common class travel trailer, which is nice. Cherokee being Forest River's number one selling series of travel trailer uh, for the last couple years in a row, actually. It's easy to stay or get on top. It's hard to stay there, and they've achieved that. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm fighting off a case of the crud. So if I'm extra nasally, I'm also medicated. I might get distracted easily. You never know if I might see something shiny. Um, back to the point. <laughs> Perfect example right there. If at any point you're kind of curious to know what we're asking, how it's equipped, tank capacities, links, weight measures, all that good stuff. I publish all that data for you. There's a link to it right in our video description down here if you're just on YouTube. It says check for price and availability. Easy, but important questions to answer are gonna be right there. If we have it in stock, we'll show you what we're asking for with current discount packages. And our pricing doesn't change if we do or don't have a trade because we don't play games with your money like that. Um, let's get dug in. How did this become Forest River's best-selling trailer, and why is it still that way? Those are two big important questions I want to try to address here. We're going to start up front with the uh, aluminum smooth sweep nose. This is a painted aluminum, not a fiberglass, so it's stronger. It's also 250% thicker than the sidewall aluminum. It will fight headwind buffeting. It'll deflect stones just like that, but it looks pretty. And it's not going to sun fade and chalk like a fiberglass skin could if it's not a good fiberglass skin. Not all fiberglass is bad, just some. Um, power awning, power tongue jack, trailers seem to have those dime a dozen. I do love the neon blue campsite accent lighting package they have on the Cherokee though. Underneath your awning, your uh, outside speakers, and inside above your slide outs, you'll have little accent lights. Now we've got a, a black tank flush and outside shower here, good utility features. We also have a sealed ripping slide wall. And it seems like more and more brands are going to that. And uh, as my memory recalls, being a dealer of eight of the top 10 selling travel trailers on the market, these guys were first to market with it. They came up with a simple material swap that uh, basically eliminated the potential of slide seals not being properly swept in or out. It's absolutely awesome, and everybody copied it. They probably should have co copyrighted it. Um, the uh, Cherokees here, the way we equip them, we will often enclose the holding tanks to give you a, uh, a protection against a quick, unpredicted snap freeze. That is different from a fully, you know, like four seasons underbelly or the, you know, people use that phrase too much. You need to stop saying four seasons. It, it just, it, it's too willy nilly of a phrase for someone to just flap out there the way they do. Cargo travel rack on the back here. That's another Forest River thing that a lot of the industry's caught on to. Um, the uh, cool part about this is it can be a bike rack, it can be a cargo tray, it's got like a 200-ish pound capacity, two to 250, I gotta check. Um, you do not need to take the spare tire off to flip that down. Spare tire is actually an option. Uh, it'll be a cold day in Hades before we bring in a camper like this without a spare tire on it just to save a buck because God forbid your family's on vacation and you actually do need to use your spare tire. Hope it doesn't happen, but just like health insurance, I hope you don't get sick, but it's good to have it when you need it. This is easy to get to and you got to have one of those guys. Uh, you know, I could, like I said, I could probably save 80 bucks. Wow. 80 whole dollars without one of those, but it wouldn't be worth it. Now, What's kind of cool about this is you've got like a 20 foot awning. It goes clear over this slide and uh, those awnings go out so far, you're gonna have about six extra feet. So plenty of room for a picnic table over here. And that's exactly why they put the outside entertainment center right on the face of this slide out. So you can mount a TV out here if you're so inclined. That's your hookups right there. And I love how symmetrical this is. It looks very cool. Now they have LED lights behind. You see uh, how the speakers are glowing a little bit. At night, it's just gonna look sweet, man. It's not that those things, they're bright. They're not there to cascade light and blind you. It just looks super cool. People are gonna walk by a campsite and go, whoa, what, are you, what do you got going on here? Quality, reliability, build, structure. Let's talk about those because those are important things. Let's start right here where you can see the structure a little bit. You notice how this wood's black. They treat this. They use a heavily, heavily treated uh, surface coating on their baggage door cuts so that they don't swell and, and get exposed to moisture and humidity and fall apart. We have 5 8 tongue and groove uh, plywood floor decking. We have average 12 inch on center floor studs. Best in class average 12 inch on center wall studs. 
Industry standard is 16 inches right there. I've seen some cutthroat brands still build 24 inches on center. So this has uh, anywhere from 50 to 33% more meat on the bones on average than your normal trailer. 3 8 walk on roof deck, it's rated for some silly number like 2,800 pounds that you're never going to ever overload. You know, even with a you know, heavy Michigan snowfall or a Midwestern or snow season fall, not a problem. We've also got friction hinge doors. Other brands are copying that. Thank you, Cherokee again. <laughs> One of our guys has a crazy horn. I didn't know that. Love it. So you saw that this door caught itself. It didn't slam against the side of the trailer. So you're not going to have to deal with that. You notice that that door does not hit the awning when it flies open. So that's good. So even if you hand fling that thing open, which takes a lot of effort, you're not going to break anything. Secondly, because it's a friction door, they don't need a door hold back. That means it opens all the way. So you don't have a sharp corner pointing out there toward the grandkids' shoulders and cheeks and everything else. They got their little chubby cheekies. You like to squeeze them and take pictures of them. Um, my battery box is dying, and it doesn't really matter because the lighting in here doesn't really require a lot of the LED ceiling lights. Yeah, it is definitely dying. These are getting dim. Um, because you know, I'm just going to go ahead and shut off the, the main cabin lights here and uh, point out the blue LED accent lights above the slide. Now, they're normally they're far, far brighter than that. Again, battery box is getting drained on us. So you see a full-length blue LED strip there and there. They do that above the slide for two reasons. One, it looks good. It looks very cool. Two, it's the perfect night light. So if you have grandbabies sleeping over here, they can see at night. Or if you're like me and you like to wake up at night and <clears throat> go to the bathroom and meanwhile you find your way, you know, there's the bedroom, there's the bathroom. On the way, I can somehow get lost and find my way to the refrigerator at night and take, uh, you know, some of those tasty leftovers out with me. Anyway, my point is, huge windows in this floor plan mean lots and lots of light. Now, I'm pointing the camera right at the windows, which I really shouldn't do because it makes everything go dark like it did, but my point is, you absolutely, positively do not even need the lighting on in here. Tell me it feels dark right now. It's this, this is great. Cherokees are great for that. They put big windows in for lots of light. So two opposing super slides, and this is that rolling island. You'll probably usually have it flipped the other way. I left it this way so you could see all the tasty storage in this thing, because it is pure unadulterated storageness here. Um, storageness, oh my gosh, that's a new one. Um, obviously I don't script my material, guys. So you've got six drawers in the island, You've got pots and pan storage in the middle, and then you've even got little bar stool section over here. So you can pretty much do anything you want with this. Uh, someone's going to ask, well, what do you do with it when you're going down the road? You actually uh, roll it here into the slide out, and you see that little strap on the floor. You actually strap it on the floor in the slide against the sofa. It's really not complicated. Um, let's start on the entertainment here. So, very much like a fifth wheel, we've got a sort of pretend theater seat here. This is a fold-down jackknife sleeper sofa, but they upgraded it here. And again, you're seeing everybody, everybody is doing this. Cherokee did it last year, they did it first, everybody's starting to copy it. Cherokee is absolutely a trendsetter and an industry leader. So you've got a pretend theater seat, perfect place you can set a dinner plate here, you can set your tablet, your phone, uh, you have a place to set your drink, and you're on Boardwalk and Park Place directly across from the Entertainment Center. It's absolutely fantastic. This is where you're going to want to sit most of the time. The recliners are cool, I promise you. You're going to be sitting on this sofa most of the time watching that TV. Uh, quick thing to mention, our Cherokee campers don't usually come with televisions. We have found we can get you a bigger better grade TV for less money even once we install it from the big box store of your choice. So keep that in mind when you're making a purchase. I'm not going to lose a deal over a TV. I'm just letting you know. I don't like to sell under false pretenses. I am I'm, I'm blunt to, and honest to the point of potentially jeopardizing deals sometimes, but I would rather, you know, if I'd rather shoot you straight on something simple like this than after you spend tens of thousands of dollars, you look at me and go, you friggin' snake, you nailed me for 150 bucks. I knew you salesmen were all alike. I don't want to be that guy, okay? Um, <clears throat> great storage in the entertainment center, too. Uh, now, these are twin, full-on, lie-back recliners. I left them shoved this way uh, just so that you could kind of get a sense of how much space really is back here. Um, you can actually shove this entire island between those. I was playing around with that. That's why they're still positioned here. But again, all kinds of big windows. And look at how this window opens for ventilation. 
Big rear picture windows like this do not usually open for ventilation in this business. So um, we talked about that. There is a little bit of storage below it, by the way. Big time storage under your dinette, however, and big time easy storage under the dinette as well. Both of these have 42 inch full extension drawers. So you can access every ounce of the dinette storage without having to take the cushions off, take the table out, lift the platform up. It's just simple and easy. You're also going to see these double USB plugs next to any potential sleeping space. You see a pair of them right here because you could sleep there. You could sleep there. You're also going to see another set of those on each side of the master bed. Two for mom, two for dad. Very cool. Um, so over here in our uh, kitchen, they've really dressed this thing up in a very beautiful cosmetic fashion. We've already talked about all the storage in the island right here, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that out of the way just to make this uh, a little bit easier to see and demonstrate for everybody. This big pantry is in the slide out off the floor plan. It's just pure bonus storage space. And I like that they put a big drawer under the oven. You've probably seen that in nice fifth wheels before. You don't usually see an under oven drawer in a conventionally constructed travel trailer. That is a hyper unique thing. Um, I also like that other than just that little strip right there, this is a, uh, a carpetless kitchen. Very easy to clean and maintain and take care of. Now, uh, something I should have mentioned on this. Any time you have your tabletop, your countertop, the bathroom countertop, any top, basically. It's a pressed membrane. It's a sealed edge, waterproof pressed membrane. So um, that is awesome prep space. I like that that's totally unimpeded, by the way. So what that means is that over here by your sink, if you're splashing water around, it can't damage the countertop. And the stuff is heavy duty. It's thick and it's awesome and it gets the job done. Um, you, you just don't see a lot of brands using this. It's an awesome material. It gives you the benefits of a solid surface countertop, but if you scrape something across the surface, if you have an abrasion, it's not going to always stick out like a sore thumb, like a solid surface, shiny countertop would. It's kind of like a cutting board material, frankly. So they've recessed the sink, prep space. We saw the island, prep space. They recessed the stove and they put a countertop above a low mounted microwave, prep space. And you've got appliance outlets all over the place in this kitchen. I love that the microwave is down there, by the way. Every manufacturer always mounts a microwave up here. If that microwave were up here, we would lose this rockin' window, Batman. Now, uh, when the microwave's up really high, most people are not as tall as me. Most people are a little more, say, gravity-friendly. Well, uh, if... if if I were down a little bit lower and I was trying to get something out of a sink or a microwave, a sink, idiot, you see how high my arms are sticking up. Well, if I tilt that at all and that hot bowl of soup comes pouring down on me, I'm going to have a bad day at the office, partner. Well, now it's just not a problem. That is really a little bit smarter. What I, uh, I hope RV manufacturers watch it. Well, I know they watch my videos actually because I hear them talk about it, but I think what most brands should do is get rid of the oven that almost nobody uses, have a stovetop with a convection microwave below. But this is one step closer, guys. It's baby steps. They're getting everybody acclimated to it because people still want to believe this is a tiny house. They're, it's even called the tiny house movement, you know? It's not a tiny house. It's a camper. It feels like a house, and we pretend it's a house, but it's not really a house. So it doesn't necessarily have to have household things when we're not going to use them. And I love the wide open storage under that sink. They did a good job there. This is cool too. You do have some little like spice rack shelf storage on both sides of this. Nice little place for little boxes of, I don't know, I always say mac and cheese, but I'm going to keep rolling with that mac and cheese on both sides there. Um, <clears throat> moving on. We do have central air. We do have central heat. Uh, we have a dual access bathroom. You can get to it from either side. Uh, so you can do it from the hallway if you're a guest or from uh, the master bedroom if you're the people in the master bedroom. And uh, lots of leg room here. And that's what I do like about these. We've got a fifth wheel shower instead of a travel trailer tub. And that means lots of leg room. Now, we have a fifth wheel bath fan up here. Mac, uh, big Creative Breeze fan. And again, this is stuff Cherokee's been doing for years I, I always say, in a lot of my videos, I say this all the time, every RV is the best for a different reason. Cherokee has the best bathrooms in their class. That's a bold statement. This is the number one uh, most popular market segment in the business. And I'm saying these guys have some of the best bathrooms. we got a big skylight, a bigger vent fan that in this class you don't usually see, uh, shower instead of a tub, 
a, a real linen cabinet. You actually have a place to keep towels and beach towels and extra shampoos and stuff over here. They have waterproof countertops. They have a big sink you can actually get your hands in. They have the biggest in-class medicine cabinet, which sounds like a stupid thing, but you can keep blow dryers, shavers, toothpaste, toothbrush, all that stuff, Q-tips in here, out of the way. Not on your countertop cluttering up space. Those are all big, big things, guys. Um, they purposely slot these doors, by the way, because of that bigger fan up there, um, so that uh, if it's really hot, you can leave this shut for privacy and still have airflow, hot air getting sucked out of that because the hot air rises, then it goes whoosh, right out there. Um, it makes that sound too, whoosh, maybe, probably not. So we've got a, a private front master bedroom here. Nothing earth shatteringly new up front, other than the fact that we do have some very nice big windows in this front bedroom. And you'll notice that they use mirrored uh, wardrobes on both sides to give you that uh, even larger sense of space. And you can already see the light is reflecting in here. Again, side stands with two different sets of outlets. We have USB and household outlets, so you can plug and chug and charge and whatever, anything, everything you want in here. Um, big, real good size hanging closets, too. And I like the accent wall up front. It's just a nice touch. It, you know, again... It can look like a house without being a house, and they've accomplished that here, even with nice little uh, dual element blue and white LED reading lights. Throw a TV on that wall if you want to. Remember, there's plenty of wall studs you can tap in and throw. Easy, a 32 up there. God, that'd be overkill. You need like a 19-inch TV in this bedroom if you put a screen in at all. So, give us a call. I've talked about this thing ad nauseum. We got the rolling island, we got double slides, we got all... If you don't want the island, don't use it. You can just have a big, wide open, huge floor plan, big enough to play like a game of half-court basketball or have a high school wrestling match. So, <laughs> take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone.